You cannot say no, He will kill you. Why? Pinatandang dalaga mo ko eh. Right? So, decision is very important. Kayo mga babae, pag matagal na yung boyfriend nyo, oh, apa, tanungin mo na, mag-decide ka na ano ba? Pinapatanda mo lang ako. Hello, papakasalan mo ba ako? O hindi. Habang pwede pa ako sa iba. Amen. Eh, pwede ka na. Aba, hello, mag-propose ka o hindi? Break na tayo. Why? You need to make a decision. Amen. O nag-31 ka na, hindi pa rin nag-decide. Aba. Mag-decision ka na kung babae ka, di ba? I-break mo na yan. Kasi hindi ka maliligawan kung may boyfriend ka, ay ayaw ka namang desisyonan. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Ikaw ba nag-desisyon ka na? <laughs> o siya ay nag-desisyon. Ito, ito, may dalawa pa dito. Ikaw ba? Ha, ah, nag-desisyon na yan. They made the decision. But I mean to say, decision is very important for you to grow, to, to reach your destiny. Even in your marriage life, you need to make a decision to reach your destiny. Wala kayong mararating kung mag-shota lang kayo all the time. Hanggang kayo lang kayo mag-boyfriend. E singkwenta na kayo, mag-boyfriend pa kayo. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart! May na human na kayo pareho, hindi pa kayo papakasal. So, decision is very important. Amen? So, Elijah says, How long will you go between two opinions? If God is really God, then make a decision. If Baal is God, then go to Baal. But you, you need to make a decision. Elijah says to the Israelites. So they made the decision still after the miracle. Ang panaghihintay pa ng miracle yung ibang Christian bago mag-decide. Your miracle will not happen until you made your decision. Amen? Amen. You have to make a decision. You're in the body of decision, then you have to make a decision. Some people kasi are very undecisive. Ay- ayaw kong kasama yung ganyan. Yung mga very undecisive. Wala kang ma-accomplish yan eh. Pastor, huwag muna tayo bumili ng farm. Kaya lang tayo bibili. Ipag-pray po na natin. Ang daming ganyan, laging reason na is ipag-pray natin. May 35 na ako, ipag-pray mo pa. Kailan pa tayo papakasal? Ipag-pray natin. May 35 na nga ako eh. Ano ba? Other Christians, eh, when are you going to uh, attend the training program? I'm still praying. I'm praying for that. I'm waiting for a sign. In heaven. <laughs> Pag nakakita ko ng tala. <laughs> and then I'll make a decision. Some people, some Christians are like that. I need to pray for that. Sobrang tagal mag-pray. Why? Walang wisdom, hindi mga pag-decide. You don't even have to pray if you have wisdom from the Word of God. Amen. Is it the will of God or no? I will pray for that. You don't need to pray for that. Ano ba siya? Sabi ng Word of God on that situation. You don't need to pray. We have the Word of God. Sasagutin ko ba ito? E drug dealer nga siya eh. Ipinagpipray mo pa. Hello, what does the Word of God says? Drug dealer yan. The Word of God says, Do not be equally of together with unbelievers. You don't even have to pray. There's so many things you don't need to pray. Pray ba? We we'll use the Word of God as our basis. Amen. Amen. A word of God, we don't... There's so many Christians, ipagpapray ko muna, sobrang spiritual, wala, wala na na-accomplish. They're so spiritual. Like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they, they could not accomplish anything kasi lahat ng bagay, ipagpapray, ipagpapray, ipagpapray. Actually, alibay lang nila yon. They don't know how to make decision because they don't have wisdom. They don't know what the word of God is saying. And there's so many people, I told you before at the beginning, there's so many people who are highly educated, intellectual, lawyers, senators, etc. They don't have wisdom. 
The president is cleaning the country. Kinokontra mo. Kumukontra niya si Duterte. He's cleaning the country. God put him there to cleanse our land from evil people. Ito na naman ito, man. human rights. <laughs> Thou shall not kill. Ano mo ba yung verse na yun? Kinokot mo? The Bible says, Thou shall not kill innocent people. But we can kill those kind of people. Why? They are the ones killing our teenagers through drugs. Through drugs, they are the number one killers. How many people ang pinatay nila? Isang nation, isang bansa, papatay ng drugs. Your children, your future children, they will become teenagers if these drugs is not cleansed. Even if you are a Christian, your children will be victimized by these people. And God answered our prayers to cleanse our land. He put somebody Amen. who is a nerve to do what is right. Why? Because other leaders, they don't have knees. They don't have teeth. Praise God. God put him there. And he's a man of decision. When he decides, he will do it. You better do it. Isn't the value of decision? He made a decision. So decision is very, very important. Amen. And lastly, praise God. I, I missed the time. I'm sorry. Anyway, are we learning something? Amen. We'll make it. The value of hidden sin. Praise God. I didn't see the time. I'm sorry. Okay? But we need to finish this. The value of hidden sin. If you have a hidden sin, you can never attain your destiny. You can never attain your destiny. Check yourselves, what is my sin inside? The, the, the inner sin. We discussed this. There are two kinds of sin. The outer sin and the inner sin. The inner sin is much more dangerous. Why? Because nobody can see it. Amen. It's only you and the Lord. Amen. But the Lord knows everything. Amen. If you have hidden sin, praise God. Ask the Lord, Lord, what else do you still want me to confess? or to remove from myself. And then you confess it, you surrender it to God, and then you receive your forgiveness, and then continue in your serving God. But you need to remove that hidden sin in your life. You need to ask God for what is that hidden sin. The Holy Spirit will reveal it to you, and you need to repent and confess for that sin. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for this blessed night, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Help our members, O oh God, to always be reminded of all these things, O oh God, so that when they come to these valleys, O oh God, they will know how to make the right decision. Lord, thank you so much. We bless your name in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do we have any visitors tonight?